Off the top this afternoon, reports of Lyme disease among pets are up in some vet offices. And tonight, News 13's Jerrica Insko looks at what may be behind this increase and how to prevent it. Getting outside to enjoy the nice weather is something everyone is doing, but it can also come with risks for both you and your dog. This holiday weekend at the Western North Carolina Ag Center, dogs are a majority of the visitors. That's because the dog show is in town and these furry guys are well kept and cared for. Another year, she should be ready. She's also training for obedience. So dogs like Shay, with a veterinarian as their owner, are already protected from what's possible to prevent, like Lyme disease. We do find them on occasionally. That's why she stays on medication year-round to prevent ticks because we do actually see ticks and fleas. Mickey is in the same boat with an owner of eight dogs, including herself, so she's in good hands. She gets a bath once a week and I check for ticks, comb through, and um, fortunately, I, uh, you know, she's only 18 months old, but I've never seen one on her. When it comes to ticks, they'll bite anything and you may not be their favorite food, but they'll bite you. Preventing them is easier than treating them. It's kind of like the flu. You can have fever, you can have joint pain, you can be lethargic. And as for why some veterinarians are seeing more cases right now, ticks are more active in warm weather, and so are we. He's a good boy. If you are outside and you've gone hiking on a trail, definitely check yourself and the dogs for any ticks they might have picked up. Since show dogs are groomed, they are checked for ticks quite often. In Asheville, Jerrica Insko, News 13.